how to manifest love and a specific person. The reason I'm making this video is in response to a couple of comments I got on the one I uploaded yesterday. I wasn't planning on putting out a new video this soon, midweek. I'm actually queued up until I think the end of November on videos. Um, but I, I wasn't planning to put anything up, but these comments really spoke to me. I really felt for the people making them. So I, I wanted to give them more information. Let's dive right in. I've heard we can manifest only things, but not specific persons because everyone has their power and mind. We have power as same as they have power. What happens if I want specific person and that person doesn't want me because that person also has the power and desired thoughts because I'm still loving, crying, suffering for eight years, but that person doesn't come. I cried, begged, but that person left me. So firstly, yes, absolutely. You can manifest a specific person. I want to give you a couple of perspectives here. And I wrote this in the reply to the comment, but I want to, I want to expand on it. So firstly, I want you to let go of the worry, the fear that you are violating anyone's free will. That's not how it works. Firstly, we live in an endless connection of possible realities, truly endless, anything that could possibly happen down to the, the tiniest minute detail there is a different reality for it. And they exist all at once. I don't want you to get into the idea that, that when necessarily, like if we could develop the technology to go to another universe, we could meet ourselves. It doesn't quite work like that. Though, I don't know, I like to think that that is possible, but think, think less separate universes and more infinite possibilities all converging on the one point. So multiple versions of us exist at once, but the one that we're experiencing right now is, is based on the, the choices we have made and we found ourselves in this reality here as a result. So that being said, option number one is you're just moving to a reality where this person still wants you. As simple as that. Well, not as simple as that. <laughs> it doesn't sound too simple, but that's, that's what a lot of people believe. Alternatively, if that is kind of tough to get your head around, think of it like this. You're not violating their free will because you're not changing them. You're changing yourself to become the person they want. So once again, we're, we're allowed to manifest specific people because in that, in that sense, are we really manifesting this person or are we manifesting ourselves to be the person that they want? Are they manifesting us? Are we manifesting ourselves for them? <laughs> right? So again, it's okay. It's okay. Alternatively, you might find that this person that you're pining after isn't actually who you're meant to be with, isn't actually who you really want to begin with. And you'll find someone like them, not exactly them, but someone like them, maybe someone better. But how do we do this? We have to let go. And this is true of anything you could possibly want, but love, relationships, attachment to other people or other selves, right? Because everyone is you, everyone is just you projected out, but we'll get to that in a second. It can be tricky for us with this subject because it's, so, it's such a visceral feeling, you know, love, attachment to another person, the need to be loved, to have companionship, to have friends, to be around people. It's so, uh, I think it's, it's so primal. It's, it's, it's possibly one of our, if not the core need for us as humans. Think about loneliness. Loneliness is crushing. If you're starving, you can, you can survive. You can do a little bit of mind over matter and you can, <laughs> you can get by. But loneliness, it's like, it's right in here. It's like a, it's like a, a black hole that just 
keeps sucking and, and is never satisfied. So I do want to acknowledge that manifesting love, manifesting people just in general, we tend to experience it as difficult, but I want you to understand that it is no more or less difficult than anything else. We are putting it on a pedestal. Okay. So if you manifest like, I don't know, 50 bucks, it's not bad, right? Let, let's make it look, five bucks. You're manifesting five bucks. That should be easy, right? Like you can get five bucks. It's not a problem. <laughs> One way or another. It is no different, no more valuable, no more difficult than manifesting a specific person or the love of your life. I know it doesn't feel that way, but it is true. And the way you do it is by letting go. Why does it feel easier to manifest the five bucks? Because you don't care about it. It's only five bucks. And that's how you have to feel with everything. And that can be tricky just for the simple fact that we're like, oh, but I love this person. I can't, you know, I don't want to disrespect them or, or I don't want to stop loving them by taking them off that pedestal and, and like putting myself above them or no, 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 it's nothing like that. You're not putting yourself above them. You're on the same level. You are of equal value to this person. You're of equal value to anything you could possibly want because you are it. It is already within you. Remember the world that you're seeing is a reflection of past choices it is not right now. Thank you. It is not happening right now. It's the past, the present moment, the right now is the past. So the only thing, the only interaction we have with a true present moment is the choice, is our ability to choose. And right now, you have to choose to let go. So by letting go, it's just like that saying, you know, if you love something, set it free. If it was meant to be, it would like come back to you. I think I messed that up. It's meant to rhyme, but you understand where I'm coming from here. It's true. It's true. I know it feels like if you let someone go, that that's it. They're gone. No. If you let them go, you allow them to come back to you because think about it like this. Let's, let's try to, let me try to explain it in a, with a, like a physical action. If you're reaching for something, what is between you and the thing you want? Your arms, your arms aren't going to grab it. You just, you're creating mass between you and what you want. If you let it go, there's nothing. There's nothing but air. Easy, right? If something's trying to come to you and you're like, no, give it to me. You're in the way. You're creating an obstacle. You let go and you let it come to you. With love, more than anything else, we pine. We need we torture ourselves and that's what this person is doing. Sorry. Just, I know, I know how it must feel to suffer over someone for eight years, man. It may sound harsh, but all you're doing is, is torturing yourself. That's all you're doing. Holding on to this person isn't going to bring them to you. It's certainly not any faster. By needing, you're just putting something between you and this person. You need to let them go for good, truly. And I know that's hard. I know that's so fucking hard because you feel like you're going to lose them forever because you feel like the only attachment, the only piece of them you still have is within you is that need for them is the memories you have of them. But that's not how it works. They're already within you because you are them. So by letting them go, you're just allowing them to come back. And you might get this exact specific person back. Or you'll get someone like them. Someone better. And right now, that may not sound appealing, but once you let them go, you'll realize that that's maybe what you actually want. 
But that being said, I don't want to I don't want to dismiss the concept of getting a specific person. You can. You absolutely can. And I've done it. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second, but I want to address the next comment. I'm curious, how would this work with relationships or reconnection with an ex? I'm trying to be okay and let go of what I desire. Part of me is still connected to her and I'm trying to let things be now. Yeah, still connected to her. So this was a comment under my giving up on your manifestation and it'll come quicker video. I think that that video was, well, that video is the, the crux of it, you know? And I don't blame anyone. I'm not, I don't want to come at it like, hey, just watch the video again. It's all in there. I get it. I get it. As much as love, specific people, relationships are no more valuable than you and no more valuable than anything else, we put more value into them. So we trick ourselves into thinking that, that it's everything, you know? But you have to let go. So what I replied in response to, to this one was, remember, remember what love actually is. We, we've allowed ourselves to, to confuse love and attachment, right? We need someone like we, 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 we've romanticized the idea of not being able to live without someone, right? Oh, I can't live without you. You're my world. Oh my God, it's so romantic. <laughs> that's not love though. That doesn't mean you don't love them, but that in itself is not love. Love is acceptance. So by letting someone go, you're showing them the greatest expression of love you could possibly give. You're accepting them, the situation, the fact that they're not appearing physically with you in your perception. Again, if you love something, you have to set it free. So how do we do this practically, you know? And this is what this is like, this was the point of the video, right? The give up on your manifestation, because sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to feel like you're giving up because that's the only way that we can trick ourselves into letting go, you know? Because I know like, look, let's get down to brass tacks here. The whole manifestation thing, the way it's often presented, I'm not like trying to call anyone out, but the way it's often presented is, it's too much, right? Like getting technique obsessed and whatnot. Techniques are fine, you know, like sometimes you need them. You need processes. I do some weird shit sometimes just that I wouldn't necessarily recommend to anyone else, but they work for me. And I know that that's just how my mind works and I like it and, and that's fine, you know, but that's not what it is. You know, we don't have to follow specific rituals. It's not like the universe is going, well, you didn't do it right. <laughs> you know, <sighs> all that matters, all that matters is to truly choose what you want remain faithful to it and then let it go right and i know that sounds contradictory remaining faithful to it like having conviction and then letting go they're not opposites we can do them together right because letting go is trusting a watched pot never boils like this is even shown in stuff like the 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 observer effect like the double slit experiment i'm sure you've heard about this by now you know the fact that subatomic particles will actually change their behavior depending on whether you're observing them or not. <laughs> Science is catching up. So you choose what you want. Let's say it's, it's a specific person. You want to get an X back. And the more you focus on the fact that you don't have them, the more you pine for them, the more resistance and weight you throw into the distance between you and them, you're observing it. You're, you're causing the universe to behave in a certain way, but the moment you look away, it will come to you. And it will surprise you, it will sneak up on you, right? And that I know that requires trust, right? Because when you really want something, 
It's where you put so much importance into it. Like money is a great one too. If, you, if you're struggling financially and you're like, I'll, I'll manifest money. It's, abs- it's, it's absolutely possible. It is. But it might be difficult for you because you're still fixated on shit, I'm struggling. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make my rent this month. I need that money. That's it. You've shot yourself in the foot. The Literally, the only thing between you and your desires is you. <laughs> right? So all the techniques that we see on YouTube, all they do is serve to get you out of your own way. If you could somehow live a life where, where nothing was on a pedestal, nothing, right? And you had absolute faith that anything you wanted would come to you, you wouldn't need techniques. Imagine that. (laughs) So let's talk about how I manifested a specific person because it's this ties into it sneaking up on you. Uh, so for me, it, it took a couple years. It took four or five years, right? And and I gave up on it, you know? I gave up on it to the point that I, I no longer wanted it. And do, I don't want you to get discouraged. That doesn't mean that you, thank you. That doesn't mean that you have to give up such that you can't enjoy your desire, it's not like that. It's just in my specific case, I kind of, I moved on a little bit and look, the relationship ended up being exactly what I needed at the time. It was good. So no regrets. I'm glad it happened. It needed to happen, right? But when I really wanted it, it wasn't happening, right? And and I want to add into this that it was, I didn't think it was actually possible. I honestly thought there's no way in hell. Like I didn't even, I didn't see myself as the kind of person who, who could have this kind of person. But I forgot about them. I forgot they existed. (laughs) And, And this is great. This is great. I forgot they existed. And then one day I was, I was swiping on Tinder and I came across them. And I'm like, all right, let's see what happens. Swipe right, long story short, turns out they've been looking for me for years because they wanted me all those years ago. So what was stopping it? It was just me because I didn't believe it was possible. I didn't believe I was the kind of person to have that relationship. And I didn't think the relationship was possible at all. I was blocking it. So the moment I forgot about it, let it go and forgot about this person, forgot she existed, (laughs) she found me, sort of. You know, we found each other. So the key point there is you don't have to forget they exist. You don't have to forget that you're even trying to manifest them, but it helps. (laughs) Unless you're an absolute Zen master, who can look at the world completely objectively with zero judgment. I mean, no judgment whatsoever. Like to the point of, ah, you've stabbed me. I'm not angry. I'm not in pain. It just is, right? You know, you have to be like, it's extreme acceptance, radical acceptance. When you can get to that point, fine. You'll get anything you want. But in the meantime, In the meantime, we have to let go. We have to trust and we have to forget about it. And then it will sneak up on you, the exact person you want. Or someone like them, someone better, the exact person you need will find you. So last thing I want to say, and, and look, I know, I know it feels impossible. It may feel like you're betraying them, may feel like you're betraying yourself and it may hurt. I'm not going to lie to you. It may hurt like hell, 
but you have to stick it out. You have to let them go. Take the pain. Remember, pain is not bad. You know, I think a lot of the time we can get stuck in this belief that we need to be positive and happy all the time. Dude, we're always manifesting, whether you're happy or not. (laughs) So take the pain, work through it, and let go. And they'll come to you. All right, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest.